buddy. My name is Bricky, currently Hi, being Bricky. lobotomized for the glory of the Imperium. Thank God. Oh no, they botched the surgery. Bricky, my best Welcome, friend. Rejects to Break me up. Prime. I am John Warhammer, and there is a possibility Hello, that you stumbled upon Dark Tide and thought, wow, this game looks fun. But I don't really understand what's going on here. What is this weird variant of zombies? Why does everything look like a cathedral? Why so much organ music? Who I is like the, the big men. Nothing has been more fun as of late than playing this game with a group and getting to tell them all about every little aspect of the title. I definitely get annoying when I do. So in order to preserve my friendships, I can instead point to a video right here and not only teach you about your place in the universe of warmer 40k but also how to play dark tide and luckily i can do so with the help of dark tide this video is sponsored by warhammer dark tide wow i could this never see that coming four player co-op experience from fat shark Creators i want to play this warhammer one day soon berman tide games as well and it is a delightful day when i john warhammer can be sponsored by mr warhammer themselves so i will show you all how to be a fantastic servant of the emperor and fight heresy in his holy name but first holy. if you want to play anything you see on the screen right now you can check oh, out god Dark Tide down there in the description and grab it for yourself it is <coughs> Nurgle's got me. It is excellent. Because if you haven't played the game, the rest of the stuff here might go a little over your head. Unless you're just Mr. Warhammer. And if that's the case, then awesome. You, you're already more than prepared. But if not, do check it out in the description. It is excellent. It is a lot of fun. Would recommend it. Am sponsored? Yeah. Still fun? Yeah. Let's talk. For starters, why let's is chat this microphone lore. like this? What kind of microphone does he use? Why is it like a long stick? You know what I mean? My microphone is not a long stick. Why is this microphone like so thin and like a long stick? That's an interesting microphone. Yeah, that's a, it's a big boy. I think it's a shotgun shotgun mic. Is that what it's called? Interesting. Oh, God damn it. Warhammer 40,000 is a sci-fi and fantasy hybrid taking place in the 41st millennium. In this world, hell is real. Audio and enjoyer. is a genuine threat to civilization. <laughs> Humanity was once led Only by thing a 10 know about foot tall godlike like being to know. known as the Emperor Picks of Mankind. And through his strength oh. and genius led humanity across the stars to conquer a million, yes, a genuine did the emperor have a fat dick million colonized planets 10,000 years ago nine of his 18 sons led a rebellion that despite eventually failing left him a shattered and dying why is it always about dicks and cocks with you i mean it's about the empowerment, you know? 1,000 souls of humans a day in order to survive. In those 10,000 years, humanity's main governing body, the Imperium of Man, have taken him up as a martyr and have slowly degraded you know what I mean? into a religious fascist state. To be a part of the Imperium is to know untold violence and war for a what better a part Chad. of your life. The Emperor, I the true God shots Emperor, in my is the only true for divine my VR being in the galaxy at my you serve place? him and his imperium until you, you don't want to use this though you don't want to use different microphones for vr you just want to get an just get an index like index microphone is perfect for vr like have being far away from the microphone or just generally with the movement is not a good idea with vr it's garbage for streaming no i mean you heard it like it's pretty good i think the index microphone is quite good or dying breath in which you will then be transferred into corpse starch to be fed to other people in the world of warhammer there is no greater gift to mankind than to die in the emperor's service if you truly want a good picture of what it's like to live in the imperium yeah but the thing is you're far away screens. from the mic in Each a way and moving around so the sound will be weird accurate. here at this planet we have a toma prime and its major hive city tertium tertium is a city that holds billions is this people. like raid shadow legend i click on this and this does a daily task 10 times over and stretched mm -hmm. into atmosphere that is what a hive city is and hell has gotten loose in tertium and one of hell's four major gods the 
chaos gods has sought hey, to yo, what's it going on in the right game. holy shit this chaos god is nurgle god of pestilence wow. disease, decay and death that's nurgle a has big boy place from the lowest dredges of the working class all the way up to the spires of the rich and powerful now normally like any good imperial citizen would we would bomb it from orbit but tertium has many strategic assets that make it worth taking back problem is we don't have the manpower to do it with our traditional soldiers and that's where you come in you are one of four separate classes prepared to be executed for some discretion to the imperium lack of faith in the emperor insubordination dereliction of duty or maybe just looking the wrong way at a higher up these all carry punishment of death but what greater pleasure is there than to die in the emperor's service so out of the holding cell you go and into tertium you arise to kill the emperor did the Nothing wrong. He never said he was a god. To redeem yourself in the God Emperor's holy This sounds light. like First, a cult. You must pick your reject. You have four total options, with each of them having a variety of play styles. First and foremost, we have the veteran, a veteran soldier of the Imperium's main fighting force, the Imperial Guard. Guardsmen are hardened soldiers, strong in faith but stronger in martial prowess. Typical Imperial Guard battles use guardsmen as fodder in order to soak up the enemy's big guns to allow them to be blasted with tanks artillery and aircraft you are a veteran in an army with a 90 percent mortality rate on their first deployment fear the old in a profession where men die young the veteran will operate as your standard just kind of range damage specialist this you is like soldier 76 in overwatch basically you can utilize your main ability to highlight special enemies and do you're playing call of duty against them every class has a primary weapon a melee weapon and a grenade that is specific to each class your grenade as a veteran is a grenade but you see nobody else has that type of grenade so in a horde shooter being able to chuck mr bombastic is, is a lot more helpful than you realize you aren't the fastest of the classes and your stamina is a bit low but dark tie is a 50 more like left for dead and melee game mm. that sways depending the whole game on the class is yeah the, the game is like left for dead but i'm talking about the, this shovel. character the he's like call of duty first girl of the 41st millennium hey, you take faith in the emperor and make it your whole personality hoes be asking for men over six feet but skipping on the number of heretics set a flame you don't don't know when to shut the fuck up about the emperor which one would think ever shutting up about the emperor is a bad thing but even the most devout christians don't get on their knees and praise jesus when mcdonald's ice cream machine was working the zealot is simply built different all will unfold as the beneficent emperor wills the emperor demands you die for the golden throne the only true god Dude, I feel like this is too much stress for the god emperor, man. The zealot has There's so stamina, much going on for him. the same relative health as everyone else. Everyone However, putting word in his mouth. You have a meter called toughness. Think of toughness sort of like a shield before you take actual health damage that is regenerated by being near your other teammates stacking higher per person. You know what else regenerates your toughness? God emperor Glorious stressing. melee combat. You know who can generates talk? even more toughness in combat? I don't think combat? he can talk, right? The He's zealot. like dying you or something. You push towards the melee the side of that 50-50 split and decide the best way to deal with a heretic is to run at them screaming at the top of your lungs and introduce their face with his to mind your blade or that chainsaw crazy. or hammer you have large stun grenades great for crippling hordes and overall just excel in melee combat sometimes even getting benefits for being low on health because martyrdom is a blessing because what greater gift do we have than to die in the emperor's service health is a social concept to the zealots you will run into battle with one hp completely regenerating toughness to make you an unkillable god while simultaneously murdering everything in your path now i mentioned already hell is real but one might ask can you utilize hell for your own gain? Well, the unfortunate psychers don't get a choice. A psyker is a special mutation of humanity that allows them to reach into hell, or in this case, hell is known as the warp, to allow for special powers. The problem is that reaching into hell means hell can reach back. And the more you push yourself, the more you reach into the warp, the more problems you're going to have. Also, since you're a mutant, you and the zealot are just the best of friends. I see how you all regard me, as if I'm something inhuman. Well, I'm glad to be so. Oh, I'm, I'm awake, I'm paying attention. Interesting. So, they're basically going more and more insane and getting have the chance of being murdered.
The Psyker is your classic to use their spells. Style character. But Rather at the same time, they're being bullied because they're mutations, and also they're dealing with the health magic. Of damage. What Kills keeps bad man. Check damage wise isn't I think this cause looks cool. However, I don't know. They're like the fiddling with their fingers the in the sky, and then like people ways, blow their brain the up. The higher that percentage becomes, the more problematic it'll become for you. What you yeah, get in exchange for this is all manner of psychic powers. The main one is just popping heads of enemies, which does extreme damage, but chain lightning, Ooh. warp flame, Yo. just AOE explosions. God damn. The has it. Your only downside is your personality. Oh, and finally, just mute this audio. You just don't want to think. Not because you want life to be easy, but because you genuinely don't know how to think. Well, ogrens may be for you. Ogrens are, are enormous Look at that. humans that trade any possibility of intelligence for pure muscle. In the lore, the ogren you play as has a special chip installed. There we have the Pepega cloth. This is what we need. So you're currently playing the smart one. This is our manual. Like kind of weak. This place is ours. Life as Ogren is simple. You, big man. Little ones, yeah. small, need protecting. You Wait, are there Ogren females? Angry smaller ones upon your car lifting muscles. How do these you guys reproduce? Taking damage and crowd control. You do plenty of damage with your own weapons, both melee and range. But how do they reproduce them? Isn't your focal point. You there's can no use Ogren these gigantic female. shields to tank damage, grenade launchers to deal with hordes, or better yet, just use your girth. Most Ogren barely even way? have infant level intelligence. It doesn't One have been disclosed. Ogrens oh, I can't I get what it is to count the number four I get what these boys are doing chip you may be smarter but don't think too hard this is why it's canon for ogre names to almost never be more than one syllable you get powerful titles like thud oof grud bang tug thork girth so on story time interesting someone goes up to the ogren you right? should give them Says, like a right, really philosophical fella, name weapons, one thing. right you got your club you got your character your have a really philosophical gun, name. And girth this is called a box of grenades you take these and you throw them at the enemy the ogren thinks take these throw them at enemy got it perfect take the whole box of grenade and yeah, throw it at enemy your grenade is throwing a box of grenades that is not primed <laughs> and you do damage Perfect. with direct impact. Ogren. Once you have chosen a class, you can then pick a background and customize them. At the moment, there isn't a ton of changes that go into where you come from or your story, but they are neat little lore. I'd call my Ogren Aristotelist or some shit. The is next. You can make them look however you like. Again, this is all just cosmetic and for you. The actual face you can change in the in-game doctor whenever you feel like it. The number one most important thing you need to care about is your character's voice lines. This is not changeable after character creation at the moment and is a massive part of the game. Unlike Vermintide that had specific characters, each class has three voice lines per body type. If you pick a masculine or feminine body type, you'll get three different voice types with six different actors depending, Ooh. except if you're an Ogrim who has one body type. Thick. In Dark Time, despite each character being custom with their own appearance and name, the voice lines practically operate as your character's personality. There is also a Guardsman voice pack that can only be accessed if your homeworld is Cadia, which also allows you the special purple eye color too, so keep in mind that if you want to use that. The variety in these voice lines is quite high and will really help show the kind of character you are creating. Personally, I judge voice packs entirely on what they say when you activate their special abilities. For example, the veteran have three, the professional, cutthroat, and loose cannon. Professional is your tried and true strong guardsman. He's do they sell extra voice packs or do you only have these? I mean, this is quite a lot of options, but I wonder if they're gonna, they sell voice packs as well that you can add. Only these? Man, imagine if you could add custom voice packs, man. That would be cool. The career soldier and generally like more them. games should add so pe players themselves can like submit voice packs or sell voice packs and stuff like that. That would be funny. So his ability voice lines are all pretty standard stuff. I am going to play this in future. It's pretty, it looks like a pretty good game. I think it looks fun as hell. Looks like the a fun left for dead. Was born on what King. happened to back for blood? Does anyone remember that game? Left for dead's like spiritual successor. What happened to back for blood? Did it die? It said dead game. Yeah, that's what I thought. It just completely died. Back for blood dead. Man, looks like I skipped the fucking ship. Oh, well. They left it for dead. <laughs>
<laughs> Black for Blood has so much promise. It did. But I haven't heard about it for so long. Then they went and fucked it with the balancing. Oh, they fucked balancing up. Did they give up? Is it an abandoned project or are they still working on it? Does anyone know? Is it an abandoned project or do they still work on that shit? Left 4 Dead is competitive. Holy... Uh, dude, Left 4 Dead is uh, a classic. I remember when Left 4 Dead came out. Dude, I was at my friend Trim. Man, Trim was a good dude. He, his dad used to work for Funcom. And I went to his dad's place. His dad was not there. The day fucking Left 4 Dead came out. And we both sat down. He had two fucking gamer computer, like really good computers. And uh, we both sat, we sat down. We both played Left 4 Dead on our own play, like save. It was so fun. And then we played some multiplayer together. It was a good day, man. I love Left 4 Dead. I haven't played in a long time. And I don't think I want to play it at all. But it has, I have some great memories with Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead was a goddamn classic and amazing game. OC Gang call up the return stream be back for blood where we see a shit talk it. I haven't I don't have back for uh, back for blood. It got DLC a month or two ago. Okay. I mean so they're working on the game. Well I hope they fix the bouncing them. Which, um... <laughs> He's not very happy about his home planet being gone, and he shows it. Coats, Finally, the loose cannon is a fun one, complete with a ton of various mildly comedic voice lines. I personally find the professional my favorite, as it's not bad playing the everyman every so often, but I hear the loose cannon in games sometimes, and I think, damn, there's some good voice lines. Magic, big man. Lots and lots of magic. This continues with the other characters. The Zealot has various levels of, of piety. The Psychers are all over the place, including an insane German man or person who thinks the Emperor is their boyfriend and other crazy shenanigans. You are there, aren't you, beloved? It's ever so hard to hear your voice. And the Ogren is... The Ogren. I can't hear nothing. Funny Slavic Ogren, angry mad orc Ogren, or the physical incarnation of hey, Xenos, hey, Chaos, love me, Emperor. <laughs> Not sure how I got here. Don't much care. When this is all finally done and complete, you may hop into your game, travel around the Morning Star, see all the world, and realize that devotion to the Emperor can even be present through the architecture of starships. When you get to the hollow map in the center of the table, you have multiple missions with five separate difficulty pips. Don't even think about doing anything above level two. When I was level 10 out of 30 on my character, I was still mainly only doing level twos with the occasional three. So start with ones. You will want to familiarize yourself with the game as much as you can without too much pain. Each mission will have a rough difficulty time frame of between 15 to 30 minutes depending on difficulty. The main objective is to move from one point to the other and do anything and everything the sassy tech priest tells you to do. I have complete confidence in you. Who's talking? I can never tell. As you move through the mission, you will do a combination of killing enemies, looting for supplies, looking for currencies, and mm. objectives such as holdout points, aspect scans, objective delivery, and more. When it comes I to think enemies, this looks like Noble a way better Left 4 Dead. Quite a few of them. It and looks there like are a modern day Left 4 Dead volume of enemy to me, types. like what you I'm have seeing. Regular here. chaos cultists and pox walkers that make up fodder enemies, with armored soldiers being tougher and harder hitting. You also have chaos guardsmen equipped with ranged weaponry that can suppress you and do a staggeringly high amount of damage if left unchecked but the specials you need to look out for the most. You've got maulers, ragers, volley gunners, shotgunners, tox flamers, mutants, pox bursters, bombers, snipers, trappers, bloodhounds, crushers, bulwarks, and reapers for Mass Effect. Yeah, there's a lot to deal with. Honestly, most of these you'll figure out on your own when you see them, and the only specialized way to deal with some are when you get to the higher levels. Don't it's a decent game, but it's unfinished in low regards. And don't let dogs pin you. So it needs it's a little bit more time, man. And with practice, you'll find a way to deal with all of them. Early if I access any, game there, like, man. Real true advice to give to new players is to stick as a team. Not Hell only is yeah. it advantageous from a people who go alone die point of view, but it's also advantageous from a genuine game mechanic point of view. Your toughness for 
regenerates faster when you are with your team, and that affects stats with more players. Staying as a team is smart from Probably a coordination the least half a year and more. Should I wait playing this? Of view. There's even a little bip, blip, pip boy down in the bottom left hand corner that shows who is in coherency not to mention there are often feats and abilities you get that Ooh. assist your teammates in coherence it's in so game pass yeah i know it's in game together. pass move as a team there's so many as games team, to play if you that's the problem you die alone you'll find things around the map to help you survive often ammo being if you main. wait it'll probably be dead i mean i'm not playing with three friends ammo wise than the ogre and zealot and finally psycho though the ogre and the zealot can kind of flip flop depending on whether the it's ogre already almost dead what the fuck the, Holy shit. the veteran should get ammo priority friends to play i don't care about playing it means play. us yeah so stop still i will not play this ammo. with you random to kill that Screw that. looking to give you a haircut maybe don't hog the ammo for your fucking machine pistol zealot other than random ammo, you will find med packs and ammo crates. These will be dropped when you want them and then can refill both you and your teammates ammo or health back to full. Health will go until that little purple bar. What is that purple bar? Well, you see, Norgo might be convincing with that award-winning social style, relationship but some engaged. Be easily, so they need to be corrupted. This is your corruption meter. The purple <laughs> will never be healed when you are healed. The only way to get rid of this is to find the healing stations known as medical servitors. In Warhammer 40k, artificial intelligence. Boys, you know that. Um, I, you know that I will probably when the new VTuber comes out just. Just for fun, make a body pillow. Just, just for the fun of it. Just, just for the fun of it. Stay there. You know, this is a pretty good view indeed. Intelligence is considered this one is of the largest forms of heresy. Have you ever noticed that when you put down a data interrogator, it has a little human skull in it? That's because it is a human skull with a human brain in it, acting as a computer. Gather around, how children. Do I, Gather around. Papa how do you make is going that? to tell you about how he makes servitors you in the Imperium. Someone? A servitor is generally a criminal that has been lobotomized, dissected, ah. dismembered, and put back together in a robotic form to serve as a slave. You know what? If a criminal is charged and it's known fact that this is the truth, of something bad this is a, this works not a bad idea for the wider imperium there is a high chance that if you reject were not executed for your crimes you would have suffered this fate sometimes the lobotomies are successful sometimes in rare cases i see the question wrong. i'm saying that they they are turning them into mind slaves to work to do stuff i mean if someone does something extremely awful like I'm saying, if someone does something extremely awful, it, there's clear evidence in every regard and footage. And, you know, they would most, some places they give death sentence. I don't know. How about you just make him into this instead so they do something useful? I don't know. There is an issue of relapse. But you're all, you live forever, but you open your your only function is to open doors. Sounds good. That's literally torture. Do these guys seem sad? Look, he's opening the door. Does he look sad? You tell me. Look at that beautiful face. Tell me, does he look sad? He looks happy. He's finally at peace. <laughs> So, yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna walk really far away from that. No, this is actually awful. No, 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 this is actually awful. This is this uh, this looks like it looks like tort it looks like the worst punishment you could actually give someone. If there's a punishment worse than death, it's probably the factor of you being a mindless slave doing nothing and sitting there in agony all the time. That it looks like it looks like that in a way. People can't be sad if they are opening doors. I mean, if they turn into a wild machine, they probably don't have feelings. So they're probably happy. So maybe they could just install the only feeling being happy. I don't know. I don't I don't build machines. And I don't live in Warhammer universe. So I don't really know how it works. ARs are not allowed because they are tendency to turn their master eventually to bypass that. So they use biocomputer and oh lobotomized people. Oh that makes sense. So AI bad. See, AI bad. Uh abominations good. Yes.
concept, just that man gaining self-awareness again. If I don't think about it, the, the pain, pain won't arrive, you know, smile. But this servitor will fully heal you and all your corruption. However, do watch for the flashing lights below him. This tells you how many charges it has. On hard difficulties, this will have fewer and fewer, so make sure you don't rush to it and use it instantly. Save the charges for the right people. Other than that, you can just look for materials such as plasteel, but that's just if you feel like doing a little bit more exploring. Once you finish the mission and extract, you'll be rewarded with XP and currency. With experience comes feats. These are basically like perks that you get every five levels, and you get three to choose from. It can be swapped out whenever you're not in a mission. But what do you do like outside of a mission? Well, people often forget that the Imperium runs on faith, but not faith alone. They also run on murder money heading over to the <laughs> servitor in charge of arms here you can get more weapons and gear like curios passive trinkets or other things that have ratings and rarities rarities that you can enhance or forge with a tech priest at a higher level as well the higher your level the more feats you get the more curious more feats? you would lock and the more weapons you have access to a veteran may just start with a las gun and auto rifle for their ranged weapons but with time you might get other variants styles of las gun or even bigger chunkier things like the bolter or the hut hot hot plasma gun and from there you're off to the races my friend with levels comes upgrades with upgrades comes weapons can i isn't this i have a question i heard that the only the thing people hate the most about this game is the shop that you have to buy weapons and stuff like that i heard that they were just drop a lot in the pre in vermintide so this is a bad feature yes is this an l or is this a w the shop is stupid is an L. With weapons comes contracts, and with contracts comes upgrades again, and so on. Oh, wait. I forgot something. If you ever hear whispering, like a lot of whispering, just standing still and whispering, go ahead and shoot them. It's an enemy of the Imperium, right? It would be wrong of you not to kill it. Do it. Shoot them. Do it. What the shoot fuck? them. Wake them up what the now. Fuck? Kill them now. Kiss them. Seven. And that, my friends, how you Did he turn into Giga Chad? Despite the tutorial and Psychonum, I think it can be a little bit overwhelming for people who don't have a ton of experience in either this game genre or the Warhammer 40. First he skipped talking about the shop. Board. No, we Final heard about it. He was saying only good does things about it. Something called the meat grinder. If you ever want to test out your character's voice lines, weapon damage, or enemy interactions, I really love Dark Tide so far. I really appreciate them sponsoring this video. I would pick it up. I know I'm sponsored. Yeah, that's I don't a good care. sponsorship. Like a I good game sponsoring you. That's in pretty the description, huge. I would give it a look. I will be seeing you again in only a couple more days for another video on wow. this game. Wow. So stay tuned. Are you going to the Warhammer Open in Vegas? That is crazy. What a good video. I, I quite enjoyed that. Man, we gotta, I gotta play Warhammer one day. But let's maybe wait a little bit. If it's like not really there yet, if it's not there yet, we gotta wait a little, little bit, okay? Give it a little bit more time.